All right, the following clip here, I actually, we actually have a second channel, Confident Home Solutions, it's the name of our business. That's our primary channel. I know it's still a small channel, but that's one we primarily load. I think this video for this right here uh, has a big benefit, not only for construction, but for the Jeep guys. Man, we, we knock bolts off all the time. We mess the threads up on our, uh, the bolts holding our suspension on all the time so that's why i want to put this on both but i'm actually gonna change the beginning just a little bit for the confident home solutions and so that's why this is at the beginning all right um commence the video uh so we got a grade eight bolt so if you got six tabs off there that means grade eight ah uh, you see it's moving by hand One more time for the Jeep guys. Well, yeah. say that's pretty good. It's good enough. Put it on stun. Okay, so the, we just walked literally uh it really does matter yeah january 2023 we walked through lowe's and the, we saw these on a display rotary thread we're not sure i mean these things could have been out for a while i'm not aware of them we we typically use a triangle file or other means to actually correct uh smashed over threads damaged threads or whatever but these things right here look pretty cool you have a um a cylinder disc for your your outside threads and they give you a smaller one for the inside of a nut but i you know my thoughts are is the smaller one would drop down and work for a little bit more finer bolts but that's cool being able to get in there and touch up bolts but um yeah so let's see how this thing works like i said this is a grade eight bolt uh i i guess the good side of it being grade eight is it it didn't get into actually with actually how hard i was swinging if this would have been a a standard just standard grade bolt you know less than five um i probably would have <laughs> deformed the bolt a little bit with how hard i was swinging right there <clears throat> with this being an eight it only smashed the threads down but we're gonna actually put this thing to the test to see if it will straighten that thing up because it's pretty obvious right now it ain't going so we got a drill of course this is a this drill here can handle up to half inch but you don't need it just a 3 8 is enough um a die grinder but i want to first try to do it with this drill hopefully we don't cut ourselves oh that's a nice blade right there couldn't have, even if I did slip, I couldn't have cut myself. <laughs> I made these. Let's get it right across the top. Put the instructions in there, though. We may have needed instructions. Hey, get a little case. Did I destroy the case? You of cut course. The off. Of course I did. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Don't do what I do. <laughs> Does it still work? Probably not. Hey, I'll show I'll show people my mistakes. Yeah, just whatever. Whatever. Take whatever. Over it. It'll be fine. And yeah, there are instructions in there. But I don't care about that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's start with this big guy since we're right there. That's hilarious. Oh, I think we already got here. Come on in here. here. I think we already got a little bit of success. You see it already cleaned that one thread up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
feels like it has pretty good uh, cutting stones on it. For those worried about it, this is like a diamond tip. So, I mean, I technically could cut myself if I went around, but. Man, I almost think I can get it off already. No, got to touch up that. Oh, right there, I got to touch that thread up a little more. BAM! So they got this one here uh, showing that you could go inside and touch up threads. And I, I could see that because we've, we've had a couple bolts, mainly on our Jeeps, that we've messed up the edge. And I was somewhat able to stretch, straighten out. It was on a weekend. I couldn't get anything else. This right here, I would have been able to go in there and touch those threads up. So that's cool. What else? It, like I said, it came with this arbor. Yeah, I think that's the way it would go. So that way you can chuck it up. Of course, that that shoulder right there, this is the size that this takes. So you'd be able to back, back that out. But after seeing what I just saw right there, how well this thing cuts, a drill is all you need. Because I was only cutting, what it? Five to eight hundred RPMs. Yeah, not very much. Not, not. What are these things? Twenty-five thousand. Yeah. Thirty. I don't know what they are. So, all right. So this is a win for this thing right here. This is a total win. I think. Man. This. Not only do we need this for, um, uh, for our Jeeps, uh, for you know banging bolts up. I think we need it on the job site too. Yeah. Because uh, there's there, different times we mess bolts up, right at the job. So, okay. All right, I was talking talking to my brother about this bit and wondering if he had seen it. And he brought up, he's like, hey, I wonder if that'd work good for cleaning out heavy rust out of threads. Uh, absolutely would. This would totally work. If you're in the rust belt, this would, uh, you could run this around the bolt and it'd take heavy rust out of them, uh, out of your threads. Uh, I did, did get a kick out. It says that it'll work on fractional and metric okay and uh it work on pipe thread too yeah oh, okay um uh, inside now now that's about the only thing right there but i i did like the marketing person right there that telling us that it would work on both fractional and uh metric so i think that's it i think this was uh just under 20 bucks let's see if there's any wear i don't see any wear marks nope this guy looks like it could be Brand like new. you could cut with it a ton. Yep. So, all right, totally re recommend this. This. Right, uh, we do what are you doing? Uh, putting some uh, duct tape on the uh, case that you cut in half. Oh, me? Yeah. I I didn't do that. It was shipped that way. Yeah. Good as new. <laughs>